Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world, mostly flat and arid with the exception of mountains in the east and sparsely populated with a mere 18 million people. It takes roughly 24 hours to travel to from San Francisco to the capital Nur Sultan, and in this trip anyway, another two hours to fly across the country to the eastern region. But to really get to the remote areas, and I'm talking areas you cannot fly to, it's a 16-hour drive to the eastern Kazakhstan border, the precipice of middle-of-nowhere Asia, the four corners between Kazakhstan, Russia, Mongolia, and China. That is where we're headed this week. Good morning. It is about 5.30 in the morning and we are in the eastern region of Kazakhstan. We set off on the road at 4 a.m. this morning with hopes of reaching our destination at 7 p.m. tonight. We are going to a very remote area of Kazakhstan in the mountains on the, in the eastern region. Cannot fly there. Have to take this van for eight hours and then at some point we're going to have to switch cars and take this like army truck looking thing um, up into the mountains because that's the only car that will be able to get through the mountains. So I'm really sorry by the way if, if, of all this if this is giving you a headache to watch. Can you just imagine being here? It's so bumpy, I can't hold anything straight. <laughs> Hitting the walls. It's just gonna be a really long road trip car day today. If you don't know Daniel, by the way, this is Daniel Marsh. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey. I'm gonna see if uh, I can take a little, a little nap right now. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work out. The road between our departure city Oskemen and the eastern border is a little run down. The potholes were common and some of them dangerously deep. There is street lighting in some places but the only light that filled our van was the sunrise. The driving was nowhere near a smooth ride. But long car rides always make for long conversations and good bonding time. Especially for a group of travel photographers, writers and YouTubers from different countries. We had all been invited by the tourism board to experience the rugged, remote areas of Kazakhstan, and we were so giddy and overjoyed to visit a country that no one really hears about. We finally made it to the ferry. We're crossing the channel right now. This is called borscht. It is originally a Ukrainian cabbage soup, so we got boiled cabbage here. This is a dollop of sour cream. Tastes like a very mild cabbage soup. I typically like to have some sort of like hot sauce or chili sauce, so I just asked if there is such thing in Kazakhstan, and my tour coordinator said, no, not really, but she's gonna ask. We'll see. You got me chili pepper? Uh, I love you. It's just red pepper. I'll take it. The main course here is meat and rice. So I've been in Kazakhstan for the last few days, and what I've noticed is that the meals here are very meat heavy. Someone actually told me recently that the only creatures that eat more meat than Kazakhs are wolves. So apparently that's a saying around here. Might be a little bit challenging for vegetarians to come here, but hey, at least there's rice. It's a staple in my diet. I keep having to look at a map and check where we are. 
Check this out. Kazakhstan, Russia, Ch Mongolia, China. Right at the corner of the crossroads. It is now two o'clock. We just finished having lunch, got back on the road, and we've been on the road for so 10, long. 10 hours already. <laughs> um, but as we continue into the eastern region, we can now see snow-capped mountains in the distance. We still have another five or six hours, give or take. We are 12 hours into the drive to the eastern region. This van uh, that we've been driving in the whole time will not be able to make it up to the mountains. We have about 16 to 18 kilometers to go, but it's gonna take over an hour to get up there. So we are switching to these army truck shuttle vans. We are hiking out to a little waterfall and we just parked on the side of the road up there, taking a little trail out. We just came up over the hill on this crazy bumpy dirt road that we're just off-roading and I had no idea that we were gonna come upon enormous white tip, not even white tip, like completely snow-covered mountains in the distance over there. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Like I, I was no telling idea. them earlier, sometimes we go on these adventures and all these cool things and we do a lot of cool things. This is real wilderness. Like, this feels, this is an adventure. 18 million people for uh, a place that's three, four times the size of Texas and there's no people anywhere. This is yeah, real wilderness, untouched. Yeah, we're like, we untouched. are in the wilderness. Untouched. We just arrived at the resort. We're going to be staying at the next two nights and it's like an alpine mountain resort 
with wooden cabins, really, really cozy. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't look any of this up before and I feel like we are really in the middle of nowhere, East Kazakhstan, and all of a sudden we came upon this beautiful like alpine area with mountains and lakes. It's like a little ski cabin. That's Simona and Romina's room. Yay! Hey. Beautiful! Look yeah. at how cozy this is. Yeah, it's really warm. Did not know what to expect. Yeah. Absolutely We're like in better. an alpine paradise. Yeah. Take a look at this. I mean, it's heavenly. Careful. Careful with all your equipment. I love Kazakhstan. It's an outdoor adventure. It is 